welcome to my Just The Tip. Um, tonight we're actually going to be checking out uh, three different items. Um, I have the P-Spot P slash G-Spot uh, from Tantus, the suction cup, and then the uh, jock harness from Spare Parts. All these things are kind of awesome, so hopefully you'll stick around for this review. I'm going to unbox stuff and you'll see kind of how it's all put together. First up, we have the jock harness from Spare Parts. Um, what's kind of cool about uh, all these things, they all came shipped in plain old brown boxes. There was nothing on them that indicated where they were from. Like it had the return address, but the, um, the company name wasn't on them, nothing like that. So really discreet, which is kind of cool. This is something that, that kind of drives me a little bit crazy about all this stuff is that all of the, the visuals and stuff on all this stuff always, it's always women. But I mean, to be fair, I mean, it's, it's geared mostly towards lesbians or women that want to be pegging their husbands, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but if you can get past that, it's still a good product. So, Spare Parts has, has kept in mind people of all different sizes. Not everybody who, you know, wants to wear one of these looks like this. The jock is the only harness you will ever need. A two-strap jockey style harness handcrafted from high quality fabric designed to last, lightweight, breathable, suitable for extended wear, perfect for packing. I don't know about that. Mm, I wouldn't use this to pack. Uh, stretchable o-ring that fits dildos of different sizes, works with single and double dildos. Again, it's a little bulky, which is why I wouldn't necessarily use it for packing. Because if you're going to use it for packing and nothing but packing, chances of this showing through your clothes, you know, it's, it, there's a lot going on. There's a, there's a lot going on here. So I don't know that I would necessarily use it for packing. Uh, Spare Parts has uh, different harnesses as well. They have one that actually has two O-rings on it which is great for like double penetration, regardless of whether the person who is wearing it is, if they are a cis male, if they happen to actually have a penis, they can actually wear a toy with it for double penetration. Um, but they have all sorts of different ones. They also have um, the type that is worn almost like a thong. I don't tend to, pre to, to prefer those only because eh, weird chafy things happen that could be, you know, you get the wrong angle and something pulls too much. Eh. Not going to be super comfortable. I tend to prefer the jock ones with the with the leg straps, but again, personal preference. But I would definitely, definitely recommend uh, the spare parts harness. I really wish they would change their packaging. It'd be great if they would come up with something a little more gender neutral. So as far as the jock harness goes, it after wearing it and wearing it a few times, um, one of the things I really like about it is that it actually feels secure. It sits comfortably on your hips and it doesn't feel like it's going to fall off, it doesn't feel like it's gonna move, um, and it doesn't cut in anywhere. One of my old harnesses that I've had for years, and I still have it, and I still use it, it's basically just the, uh, like the nylon material through the things, you just pull it tight, cinch it, and you're good to go. 
Uh, the problem with that, there's a couple of issues with that one. Mind you, I still like it, but it can be tricky to get in and out of, um, especially if <laughs> if you're in the middle of things, you went to go grab it and put it on, and you find that one of the um, nylon pieces have slipped out of the adjuster thingy. Because mm -hmm. then you have to try and find it in the dark, try to put it through, and slip it through. And this doesn't have that issue. The jock doesn't have that issue. And if you, you pull it, you can it ends up cutting in a little bit because the the um, the pieces of, of the nylon aren't they're not wide. They're they're relatively narrow, which it's good in the sense that you can have more kind of skin showing and more sort of skin on skin contact if you like, but as far as comfort goes, I prefer the uh, the spare parts. So if you like this episode, go ahead and click the little thumbs up down there, subscribe to the channel, and if there's anything that you want to see me review, if there's any toys out there that you're curious about, uh, throw it out in the comments below and I'll see what I can do watching.